This video is how to identify Teva and Akibono front brake calipers. Also a little bit about death wobble. Death wobble is when a harmonic vibration creates such serious shaking that you can barely steer or direct the vehicle. Now Jeep it's themselves recognized that uh, there were some calipers that were leading to vibration and steering problems in their own WJs uh, right from the start. So they actually introduced a technical service bulletin that covered Jeeps between 1999 all the way through those that were produced to May 10th of 2002 because they were using Teva calipers. And in particular, these Teva calipers were having problems centering. And so they weren't giving equal braking pressure. And so over time, they would actually, you know, either wear the brake pads unevenly, and that would then lead to even wearing on the rotor itself unevenly. And once it warped the rotors, that's when you get the brake pulsations and, and the vibrations. Now, in an unlifted, unmodified Jeep, that's sometimes not a big deal. Or in a, but if you've got bigger tires and, or maybe worn components, maybe your Jeep is a little bit older, it can actually have a significant impact because as these Teva calipers wear unevenly, they then make it so a shaking can start. And that mild shaking might be light harmonics that could introduce then a death wobble into the rest of your system. But either way, if you've got a vibration or a more serious death wobble, um, changing the calipers or can be a solution to the more what Jeep changed it to is they changed it from Teva they changed it to Akibono calipers which were a full enclosed caliper that then always centered more accurately. Now if you're looking to upgrade uh, and potentially remove vibration from your steering system you could do exactly like Jeep did which is upgrade your calipers brakes and rotors uh, which they did straight from the factory or uh, just as a heads up in my case, I actually reused the Teva calipers, but then more highly lubricated them so they could center more easily. And then, of course, changed out the pads and new rotors that were a little bit more aggressive. Now, that's worked really good for me. It was actually inexpensive, but if you're going to really do the full uh, transition, uh, getting the Akibono calipers would be an upgrade over the Teva. So if you're looking at your Jeep, the first step is deciding or at least understanding which caliper you already have on it. One thing can be model year. Obviously, if your Jeep is a 2004, it shouldn't have any Tevas on it. Or if it's a 1999 or a 2000, it's gonna have the Tevas on it. And then if you were in a model year of around a 2003, it would depend on the build date because the May 2010, I mean May 10th, 2002 build date is what determined which caliper they would put on it. But besides that, you can easily find out what caliper you're using just by taking a look at your brakes. Sometimes you can see it straight through the wheel, uh, but for ease, I've thrown up some pictures which are with the wheel off so you can see directly at the caliper itself. And the differences you're gonna note are within the caliper, the springs that hold the pads in, and then the pads themselves. So first, let me show you the Tevas. Okay, so this is a Teva caliper. The main indication that it's a Teva is the spring. So that thin wire is, that's next to the hub, that goes top to bottom, is the spring that holds in the pads. That indicates it's a Teva. Now if we look at the Akibonos, where there used to be a thin metal spring, you'll notice it's a bar of solid metal that has curved in the shape of the hub. So the springs that would actually hold the pads are just at the top and the bottom, those little metal pieces. Now the brake pads themselves are different. For the Tevas, they have hooks that reach out from the pads. In this particular brake kit, you can see it has the hooks that reach out from the pads, as well as it includes the springs that we were talking about before, that long single spring that holds them in. But the hooks that go out the, pad, out the sides of the pads are for the Tevas. For the Akibono, you can look at the brake pads, they have notches that come in. So whereas the Tevas had protrusions that went out, the Akibonos have tabs that are inset. Also, that bottom row of springs is far different than that single spring that's for the Tevas. So there you have it. 
Televa calipers have one thin single spring. Okibono have a metal bar there, and just small spring tabs at each end. The brake pads for the Tevas have protrusions that come out from them on the side. The Okibonos actually have notches that are inset. Um, and that can help you identify which caliper and brake type you're running on your WJ. But as for my experience, I can say that both calipers can work well. I still run Tevas, and uh, they work good for me. But at the same time, I can tell you the Tevas and bad rotors were exactly what caused my death wobble. Well, I hope this information helps in your decision whether to just rebuild your Tevas or swap to Aki Bonos, or maybe even help hunt down a different problem with your death wobble in a different part of your system by eliminating these components as options. But either way, hope you have a good drive, and thanks for liking and subscribing.